Hey guys, my name is William and in today's video I'm going to go over the best YouTube SEO gig. That's right, the best YouTube SEO gig. I've had a lot of people reaching out to me in regards to how am I outranking so many people and if they could get one set up just for their local you know, business, whether they be a plumber, whether they be a contractor, whether they be an electrician, how can they get the best YouTube SEO gig? So really you know for the most part i sell most of my services on our website which is at rankfortress.com right if you just go to rankfortress.com you will see for instance we have all of our services here one of which is the advanced youtube seo stack right if you go right here here's our advanced youtube seo stack $175 and we set the entire channel up we do at least one video for you and everything now let's say for example maybe um, where is it you go here and if you wanted to receive not just our YouTube spreadsheet but you also wanted to see how to do Google My Business Post, how to reverse engineer your competition. You wanted all my standard operating procedures I usually use for the most part and I give away for free. If you go over to GMB SEO and you click on GMB Toolkit, you can order it for free, right? And you'll get that. You know, and it comes with so many SOPs, your category sheets, your GMB audit checklist, your YouTube sheet, everything. So uh, let's say, for example, pull this up real quick. I wanted to go to the drive and I wanted to get my YouTube spreadsheet. I'm going to pull that over so you guys can see it. And we do this for local clients. This is all local based SEO, <clears throat> local based YouTube SEO. Okay. First thing we're going to do is how do we get our GCID, right? How do you get your Google call ID? Um, you go over here to Google My Business Categories. Maybe you are a plumbing contractor or a HVAC repair, repair specialist. Do you need to put HVAC? Should your Gmail, like we say in here, be named, you know, Gmail address be named Havac123 or what's the category, right? And there's so many categories. Let's say I'm an Acura dealer. I would name it Acura. If I'm an acupuncturist, whatever, right? These are the things we want to name, if you will, our channel by, okay, according to the category. Then we go over to SimRush and we want to choose keywords. Those keywords that we're going to choose, for example, when we do this is, okay, it may be, for example, keywords that you're not thinking of. Let's say it with as a roofer or a doctor or a lung clinic. You could be, what is, what is a pulmonologist, okay? What is lung cancer? What is um, exercise-induced, you know, lung issues? And you can create playlists based upon that and easily rank for those keywords, right? Then we're going to also use, you know, how are we naming our channel, right? I go through everything in here, step by step by step by step, okay? Then after that, I go into what I use is Wave Video Maker. If you're not aware of Wave Video Maker, make yourself aware of it. It's called Wave.video. And with these, I can literally take a blog, drop the blog inside of it, and it will make a video for me based upon the blog, choosing the images, choosing the um, everything. The only thing I got to do really is drop it in there, choose the audio, maybe a couple of tweaks. But overall, it simplifies it at least 90% down for me, right? And then once I do that, you know, I have the basic of my, if you will, automated videos. Right, and I go into there, do all that, publish it. Then once I publish it, then I go into how do I optimize my videos, right? Which covers everything from choosing the title and naming your video file and naming your uh, thumbnail covers and your end cards and everything else, right? Making sure it's set to public, not private. Really basic stuff that most people want to act as if they are some sort of mystery or 
that they're accomplishing something great. But if you just follow all these steps, you can do like I do and outrank a lot of your competition. And then we get into carpet bombing or what I call carpet bombing your competition, which is how we embed the video in the blog. So we take, we take it and then we create it, right? And then we're going to put it inside of, um, create the video. And then after we create the video, excuse me, we create the video. And then after we create the video, we're going to take that and embed it on the blog. After we embed it on the blog, then we're going to put it inside of a press release. Then after we put it inside the press release, what's the next thing I do? I take all my Web20 assets, all my parasite links. Okay, a parasite link being, let's say, um, WordPress or Weebly or any number of high authority sites that you can utilize to do your embeds on. Another really cool trick I like doing, which I know most people are unaware of for the most part, is Holly has a news network, right? And hollystarks.com, you go here and hit Holly's News Network. She also has her store. If you go to her store and then you go to the Embed Network, the Embed Network is really cool. So I can literally take a video, drop the, vi you know, drop the video inside of her Embed Network, and then it goes across hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of websites that automatically accept embeds i've been doing this for a while since i've been doing it i've been keeping my neck on the competition i've already seen my youtube revenue increase i've already seen my channel views and watch times increase since using her embed network besides that i also do some ctr manipulation i've used hydra viper i've used micro workers and i've also used ctr booster but my favorite of all of them is going to be Holly's News Network, and then I also use Tony from Link Daddy. So those two are the secret sauce, if you will. So those are the things I'm going to be using, but if you actually go through the steps and everything, and you can pull my GMB toolkit here and uh, get everything. You know, I would literally just get it all, you know, if I could. And then I go in through carpet bombing, and how to take the you, you, the main thing, and I learned this, I believe, from Neil Patel had mentioned it. Always respond to every single comment, right? And respond to it with an open-ended question. You're trying to get people to respond to you and ask questions back on your video and show engagement, okay? Um, then the final is we want to go through mirroring your GMB inside of YouTube. So... Once again, if you don't have it, go get the YouTube, you know, spreadsheet from me on my Google My Business Toolkit. It's been great. You guys have a great day.